This is Melissa Dykes reporting for The Daily Sheeple. This week we've seen the phrase deep state thrown around more than at any other time pretty much ever. Why? Because it's being reported everywhere, starting with the alt media and then trickling up to the mainstream that the deep state is at war with Donald Trump, with one former NSA agent even claiming the intelligence community has gone nuclear on him. Here are five examples of deep state interference with Donald Trump's presidency that prove that whether he's a puppet or really under attack, either way, the real owners, as comedian George Carlin would say, don't give a damn about our presidential elections. Number one, fake news. After the fake news agenda began spreading with many alternative blogs blanket slandered as Russian propaganda, the most thought-provoking development is CIA-controlled mainstream outlets have actually begun putting out openly fake news. Some of these are directly attacking Donald Trump. One such example was when it was widely reported that Trump was going to parse back the CIA. Another was a Golden Showers dossier. Most recently, it was reported that Trump and his administration were looking at calling out 100,000 National Guard members to the streets to round up immigrants. Yet again, another story that the Trump administration denied as being 100% untrue. Number two, former intelligence agents are coming out of the woodwork everywhere against Trump. Examples are numerous and include staunch Hillary supporter and former CIA Deputy Director Mike Morrell saying that Trump is not a patriot and suggesting there's a lot more to his relationship with Putin. I think he has um, a, 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 some special affection for Putin. To ex-agents like this 23-year CIA vet who said the country hasn't faced as grave of a threat as Trump since the Civil War. And this former NSA agent has mentioned earlier, even came out to say that the intelligence community is going, quote, nuclear on Trump, vowing that Trump will die in jail. This leads to number three, all of the intelligence leaks. There have been an unprecedented number of intel leaks since Trump has been in office, and it hasn't even been a month since he was inaugurated. On Tuesday, the Times reported that intercepted calls revealed people in Trump's campaign and other Trump associates had contacts with senior Russian intelligence officials in the year before the election. Such reports, it should be noted, always come from unnamed officials. This one prompted Trump to tweet, the real scandal here is that classified information is illegally being given out by intelligence like candy. Very un-American. But the biggest leak led to number four, a leaked conversation between former National Security Advisor Mike Flynn and an ambassador in late December about ending American sanctions against Russia forced Mike Flynn to resign. A move many say was played by the deep state in order to implicate Trump in an inappropriate relationship with Russia because ultimately they want to oust him for attempting to mend U.S.-Russian relations and put an end to the Cold War. It's admitted misleading the vice president, but I think we have to look at this a little bit deeper. A, a phone call from the incoming director of national security was intercepted and uh, the contents given to the media. Now what's at the core of this? is an effort by some in the intelligence community to upend any uh, positive relationship between the U.S. and Russia. And I tell you, there's a marching band and chowder society out there. There's gold in them, there are hills. There are people trying to separate the U.S. and Russia so that this uh, military industrial uh, intel um, access can cash in. But the creepiest by far has got to be number five. Hillary and her former State Department advisor threw snark at Mike Flynn after he resigned on Twitter over Pizzagate, leaving many to wonder if it wasn't a message. Philippe Brains, who just so happens to work with Mike Morrell at a defense think tank called Beacon Global Strategies, and who has a John Podesta quote as his description for himself on Twitter, sent out this snarky tweet to Mike Flynn and his son after Flynn was forced to resign. Dear Mike Flynn and Mike Flynn Jr., what goes around comets around. And given your pizza obsession, and there's a link to jobs at Domino's Pizza, XO Philippe. After he sent it out, Hillary retweeted it saying, Philippe's got his own way of saying things, but he has a point about the real consequences of fake news. Sounds only slightly more classy than what a terrorist cell would send out after a hit they want to take credit for, doesn't it? So whether or not Trump's a puppet, which would mean he's just under the control of the deep state anyway, or he's actually a victim of the deep state who is systematically taking apart his administration, and it's only been three weeks, Either way, this proves that it really doesn't matter who the American people vote for because the real owners are going to do whatever they want with the country. This isn't about whether you're for or against Donald Trump. Right. Hello? This is like deep state. The American people have to know that there's a game going on inside the intelligence community where there are those who want to separate the U.S. from Russia in a way that would reignite the Cold War. That's what's at the bottom of all this. It's like... It's early in the morning, it's Valentine's Day, but wake up, America. 